Hey guys, it's Jody. I thought I would make an update video because it's been way too long and I've been doing a lot. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over what I've been doing and let you know my progress. I have been doing a lot and I've been recording, but there is something wrong with my memory card. There's a corrupt file on it and it won't allow me to open the files that I've recorded. So yeah, sorry, you're gonna miss out on a lot. Anyways, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody um, for making me feel welcomed and completely a part of the Haunter family. Sorry, that's my dog. She just laid down. Um, you guys are great, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of the help and support that you've given me since I've started, which is kind of where I'm going to lead. Okay, so I've decided that once I reach 100 subscribers, and you can see how many I am at right now, 99. So all I need is one more subscriber, and I am going to do a contest. Um, once I receive that subscriber, I will go ahead and get all the details together, figure out what I'm gonna do for the contest, and post it. So. If you guys want to share the love, I will um, kind of reward you. So some of the stuff that we've been working on, um, we ended up getting our garage cleaned, which is awesome. I can actually find stuff now and not dig for hours and waste time that I could be building or working on stuff. Um, you could probably see behind me, we installed French doors. Yay! But kind of not a yay, but yeah. Um, we have this thing where anytime we make changes to the house, it doesn't matter how small, um, it could be French doors, we could get anything, um, like whenever we got our dogs and just small things. Um, we get a lot of activity in the house and the doors have only been installed for four days and we got activity in our house last night, but that's a whole different, you know, story for a rainy day or rainy week if you have time to listen to all of them but anyways um yeah we got the french doors installed which is going to be awesome because the lighting is so shitty in here um got the garage cleaned up and i've been working a lot on doing stuff with sam um sorry that's my dog <laughs> um but there is a corrupt file on my memory card and every time i go to click on those files that I've recorded it just says there's an error or it doesn't open them at all or it just decides to shut my whole laptop down so yeah I haven't been able to update you because of that um, which I will show you what I've done so far I'm not making progress as fast as I would like um, there's just been a lot of stuff going on so I haven't been able to work on him um, but yeah here I'll show you what I've done so far all right, so here is Sam's head. Um, I do just have to say, you guys are awesome. I love you. Um, for all the help that you've given me, I posted that video saying that I really needed help figuring out the size of his head, and you guys gave me awesome suggestions. So um, I decided to go to the dollar store, and I found this medium beach ball, and it happened to be the perfect size. So I bought that, blew it up, um, started my first layer of paper mache on it, which I've used paper towel mache. Um, it dries a little bit harder. And so I went ahead and did that a couple, did a couple more layers of paper mache, and this is how it turned out. Um, yeah, it's kind of like dented in spots, and I'm going to fix that. You guys gave me a recommendation on how to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I filled it with great stuff. Um, so yeah, that ended up working out, but I need to add a couple more layers because I accidentally just ripped this. And I also have his body completely put together, which you've seen. And I also got a different idea that I'm going to show you. All right. So I have to give a huge thanks to the boneyard creep. Um, thank you, Steve. He posted this picture on my Facebook page, um, which if you guys haven't added me as a friend on Facebook, you can if you want to keep up with um, my progress. I am on there every day and don't always have the opportunity to post videos, so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing in the meantime. 
Um, but he gave me this idea. He posted this picture on my page and asked how my progress was. And um, yeah, he gave me a completely different idea. So I decided that I want to do a setup similar to this. Um, it just puts Sam in a little bit of a different scenario and it will make it different from what I have seen everybody else made. Um, he will be sitting and my intentions are to, um, you know, get some funkins, carve them out and put them around him, um, and make a few other changes. So I have him in a position right now where I have his base painted. Don't ask me where it is. Never mind, I found it. I just painted it black. Um, but I think it would be easier to just have him sit down. And um, there's a way that I will be doing that. And I will show you. So that's a little bit of my progress on Sam. Um, I also wanted to say that, or show you, I guess. Um, I, I'm also going to work on some of the other stuff that I have for Sam, like his lollipop. I'm going to be using this container um, to make the lollipop. I'm going to fill the bottom of that with glue. So thanks to Godflesh, I got that idea. Um, melting hot glue. I am working on some PVC candles. Um, this is just the start of them. So I have four of these. And um, you can see them here. There they are. So I need my glue gun out for making those anyways. And yeah, I can't remember the other thing I was going to say. I'll show you the progress that I made on his costume. I'm actually almost done. And I have another idea that has sparked from um, Steve again. So I kind of went into a little brainstorming trying to make things different from what I've already seen. That way it's not the same thing like over and over. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that. Okay, so some of the stuff that we got from the garage sale, um, <clears throat> I have to give thanks to Brad Goodspeed. I had seen a tutorial on his YouTube page for a prop called Timmy, and I just fell in love with it. So I bought a desk, and I figured, okay, this can be part of the burned orphanage that we're doing. So I'm going to make something with this. Not really sure yet. mother-in-law gave me this. Um, kind of creepy. It's spinning sorry um so I plan on making this fully functional I'd like to put some skulls on the end here and um you know put lights in it so their lights light up so yeah I can't beat that for free also um I found this and if I pull it out you won't be able to see anything because a bunch of woods is just going to go flying so yeah we got that so I guess I'm going to be making a grim reaper um I actually had plans on making a Grim Reaper last year, but... Alright, just to show you some progress that I've made on actually sewing the costume. Um, I have most of the pieces that are going to be sewn together. Um, there's just one side here that I need to do, and I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to put the whole thing together, and we'll have his costume. Um, I'll need to add a piece on the back for his butt. Um, with these pieces. I know nobody's going to see him because he's going to be sitting, but I'd like to put him in a different position every year. Let's change it up. Um, you know, hide him behind a tree, you know, stuff like that. So this year he'll be sitting. Next year he'll be in a different pose. So if I want to stand him up, he'll be able to. Um, another idea that I had, I have so much material left. Like, it's not even funny. And I honestly don't think that the girl Joanne's knew what the hell she was doing. And she gave me way more than what I asked for and paid for. So, uh, so my idea, storming, um, if you hear thunder, my idea is to, because I have a ridiculous amount of fabric left, I am going to make a costume for myself. And that will allow me to set Sam up in a certain area. And then the day of our party, I am um, going to leave him there. And then I will go and put my own Sam costume on and kind of make that as a scare. Like a classic, you know, 
the Halloweens you remember from whenever you were a little kid, you know, the scarecrow sitting on your porch and then somebody's actually in there. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a different approach, you know, different hiding, I'm going to hide in the woods and stuff like that, so, yeah, that's my intentions. Um, I'm going to see how much I can get done on Sam, and if it's something that I think I'm going to be able to do this year, then I'm going to go ahead and make a costume for myself. So, those are the plans now. Um, I'm going to work on Sam's costume, see how much I get done, and then finish it out there. Okay, so I was able to um, finish sewing the pieces here, and we basically have the costume together. Um, this is the back. I left it open for right now because I'm going to need to put it on the PVC frame, and we still have a couple more things to sew. Um, we have to put the bottom, the feet on them. Um, we have cuffs that go around the wrists. We need to put those on and the piece around the neck. Um, we'll have to put those on and then we can move on to the head. These are the feet. Oh, and the, the piece for the butt I need to cut out, but that's what we're uh, gonna be working on next. So hopefully we will have um, the costume put together for the weekend and then I can start building on. Um, and then I have the fabric in here for the white part of his feet. I'm just going to get that out. And the yellow patches I have cut out. Um, I need to make them a little bit dirty though before I put them on. And then I can start on making my own costume. So. Okay, so it's the next morning and I am on my way to work and it's raining and I'm running a little late so this is going to be quick. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, tonight is the Haunters Hangout. It's a live show. If you guys haven't been able to check one out yet, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, I was on last week um, and we just had a blast. So if you're able to, check it out because I think after today there's only one more episode left. So um, yeah, if you just go on to Diablo's channel and I'll put a link down in the description box. Um, it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I think it's 5 p.m. Um, for the West Coast. And they, um, everybody just has a blast, and you get to meet a lot of people. That's how I met a lot of people. You know, even if you're just in the chat and talking to everybody, subscribe to everybody that you see, because it's definitely worth it. You'll make friends, you'll, you know, get to see all the different haunters that are out there that you might not have been able to find otherwise. So. Uh, yeah, I um, also just want to say thank you for, you know, everybody helping again. It really means a lot, and um, happy haunting. Have a good day.